Gentlemen, welcome to the ceiling. Yes, the ceiling. I'm up here. See? I've actually been erecting pallet racking, and I finally uh, got the platform set up here. And uh, put some stuff up here, and I want to show it before it goes away. Or it doesn't really go away, but gets uh, it gets buried until I get around to it. What are they? IBM gearboxes. Actually, I have four of them here, and they're all pretty rough, so uh, hopefully I can make one out of all of them here. Maybe two. I don't know. Anyway, what's a gearbox? Gearbox is... Uh, Officially, it's called an IBM 7552, and uh, it is kind of an industrial PS2. And you're thinking, this looks nothing like a PS2. Well, no, it doesn't. <laughs> For one, you can see the rack mount. See the rack ears? Very sturdy construction and very weird cards. You can see here that someone actually uh, has labeled them. And uh, yeah, these are <laughs> gigantic uh, card carriers. You can see my hand. Um, and uh, yeah, it, this, this is uh, basically a PS2 made for an industrial environment. IBM actually way back starting in the 60s uh, actually had a uh, not really an industrial division well sort of but uh, they had a, a market presence in the factory on the factory floor and made uh, computers and they actually had a line of robots I'd love to get one of those robots one of these days almost did once but didn't act on it quite fast enough um, they, uh, let's see, the I believe the 1620s were uh, put into industrial service. Um, certainly uh, the 1800s, uh, that was the kind of the big version of the 1130 uh, back in the mid-60s. Uh, those were put into uh, factory service. Uh, Series 1 were, uh, and then the PCs and the PS2s. And this is, I think, one of the latter, later, um, or last, maybe I should say, because I don't think they really are in the industrial market much anymore. So like I said, this is kind of a, a weird mutated PS2. I'm sorry if I sound funny, because the acoustics up here are pretty awful. And I am hunched over, because I have, what, uh, maybe three feet of space here? Anyway, let's take a look at this thing. Power supply on top, and then these big cards. And you can see someone has uh, actually um, labeled these. Token ring adapter, uh, processor, 8 meg memory expansion. Uh, this one with all the fun stuff is called system resource, and it is kind of general I.O. and stuff like that. Uh, floppy disks, hard disks. Let's pull one out. You get these weird uh, sort of ejector sort of things. They're encased cards. Now, these actually do have covers. I took it off prior to making the videos just to, to show. Let me get some light because the light is also pretty awful. This is a 386 version. Apparently, there were 286 versions, but they are very thin on the ground and rare. Um, these things themselves are rare, uh, but apparently the 386 versions are far more common. Um, so yeah, under the heat sinks, we have a 380, uh, 386 and th oh, 387 there, sorry. Um, uh, the 387 is a small chip, and then there's a 386 under one of those big, big heat sink chips. Um, unlike normal PS2s, the memory is error correcting. So... There is some fault uh, fault tolerance in this design. Let's pull out the system resource. More IBM goodness. And yeah, you can see this is, uh, well, if you, especially if you look at the ports, 
This is the you know general I/O and and stuff like that that you need. Some of those interesting IBM aluminum covered chips. Now the thing that makes these sort of interesting is that this is mm, sort of micro channel, and I'll show you why. These are adapter cards, and uh, they actually fit micro channel cards and adapt it to this weird gearbox bus. And you can see it's there's really no electronics to do the uh, to do the conversion. It's uh, more or less just form factor. But yeah, that is a a, uh, a micro channel card, and this is a very interesting one in that this is a uh, this is as you can see here. Well. It's upside down, but uh, uh, Rick Multiport 2 adapter, and essentially, this is its own little computer and basically a very, very fancy I/O processor for doing real-time stuff like controlling a robot. It's got a 186. It's running its own little proprietary operating system, apparently, and um, it's got its memory. It's got some uh, EPROM, and basically, you. Set it up to do its thing, and it does its thing. So, interesting things. You can see some blank cards there, token ring. And you can see it's uh, all the cables are designed to go down. This does fit in a rack. Now, one of the reasons for making this video is all of my, the power supply is on top here. And every one of them that I have here is missing the piece of plastic here. There, there should be a piece of plastic. Here's the power switch. The piece of plastic that has the little aluminum square badge. It says IBM. Actually, this might have either the uh, square badge or the um, oval badge. I don't know. But in any case, the badge that says IBM 7552, and it probably says industrial computer or something like that. I need that plastic. So I don't know if anyone has a bunch of junkers like I do here, <laughs> but uh, if you have a piece of plastic, that, that, that top shroud, I want to talk to you because I need one. And uh, likewise, if any of you guys need parts, you know, I've got four of these things. They're all essentially the same. One of them has been robbed for parts. Uh, see, like this one is just about the same, I think. Uh... Yeah, that one looks just about the same. Yeah, so if any of you guys need parts, do let me know because uh, I don't need all of this stuff. But yeah, if someone could dig up one of those pieces of plastic or two of them, I'd like to get one of these things going. Two would be nice, but I really only need one. But it'd be nice to get one of them going. Um, I know these things do have problems because I think, I think the power supplies are kind of flaky on them. Uh, from some notes that I, I saw. I got these down in Texas some time ago. Brought them back. Uh, so yeah. Interesting boxes. Oh yeah, the little shielded uh, floppy. So you keep the factory grime out of there. But cool things. Cool things. So anyway, I am getting hunched over here. And uh, my neck is probably going to crack pretty soon. So I want to get down from this. I'm about eight feet up here. <laughs> and there's not much room up here. So, okay. Hope you liked the video. Leave a like, subscribe. And I'll try and shoot some more out. And yeah, I'm going to get actually back to filling, filling all this space up. It's good to get stuff off the floor and organized and compressed. And, and, and yeah, just free up space. Okay, guys, see you later.